Any of us could wake up one day and find that a picture of us has gone viral on social media, depending on the context. Many of us might be happy to go viral on social media. And context is where the issue lies on today's show. Out of context reporting is one of the ways those who peddle misinformation can mislead the public and push a narrative that can lead to uproar on social media or the society at large. A particular photo can be used to push different narratives on sensitive topics, unsuspected individuals would believe, and also further spread misinformation. This is why fact-checking is very, very important. It's also why here at New Central, we've made it part of our mission to help curb the spread of misinformation online and offline. Welcome to another episode of The Proof, powered by Africa Check. I am Joe Hansen, and as you know, every week we work with Africa's leading fact-checking organization to take on different statements, news, rumors, and more from around the continent that circulate on social media to ensure you know the truth of what is going on. This week, we'll take on a photo posted on social media that shows two white girls next to a young black boy in a cage. The posts are claiming that one of the girls is British diplomat Kate Foster. Is that true? Well, find out after this break. Welcome back to The Proof. Now, here's some background on today's topic. Several posts on Facebook and Twitter feature a black and white image of three children, two white girls on either side of a younger black boy. The boy is sitting inside a wire bird cage. The post claimed that one of the girls is British diplomat Kate Foster. Foster is the current British ambassador to Somalia, a position she has held since February 2021. But is this really a photo of Foster as a child? Well, joining me now is Keegan Leach, researcher at Africa Check. Thank you for being here, Keegan. Um, can you tell us quickly how you fact check this claim? Thanks, Joe. During our investigation, we found that the photo has been published out of context before. It's previously been fact checked, for instance, by AFP Fact Check, which debunked a claim in November 2020 that the photo was taken in French Congo the country now known as the Republic of Congo. Now, since this photo has been frequently published out of context several times before, uh, were you able to find the original source uh, during your investigation? Yes, we did find the original context during our investigation. The photo was taken during the Belgian occupation of what is now the Democratic Republic of Congo, or DRC. Um, for a while, the country was a Belgian colony from 1908 until 1960, when it gained independence. Before then, it had been a privately owned state known as the Congo Free State, ruled by the Belgian King Leopold II. The Congo Free State is known for the brutal atrocities committed by the ruling government. And even after that, the Belgian Congo still relied on indentured labor and continued to commit abuses such as the forced separation of children from their parents. Now that you have established the context behind the photo, is Foster one of the people in that picture? The photo of the three children comes from a collection in the Belgian State Archives dedicated to archiving photos taken in the Belgian Congo. And it seems that these photos were taken somewhere between 1950 and 1960 based on how they're labeled, which makes it very unlikely that they show the British Kate Foster. Um, there's no evidence that she ever lived in the Belgian Congo as a child or that she's actually old enough to be one of the children in the picture. There are very few clues as to who the children actually are, but none of them point to either of the kids being Foster. They're not named in the archive, but other photos from the same collection include a pair of girls who may be the same uh, ones posing with the child in the cage, and two women who may be the same girls a few years later. The caption beneath one of those pictures of the two women refers to them as Agnes and Hilda. So no evidence that they're Foster. So uh, what was your verdict on this claim? We found the claim to be false because from our investigation, Foster is too young to be in the photo. 
Her LinkedIn profile says that she started university in 1996, at least 36 years after the photo was taken. And she's likely to have been 18 to 20 when she started university, which would mean that she was born in the mid to late 70s. Um, that's much after the, the photo was taken. We couldn't find the exact date of her birth, um, but Foster has also tweeted a picture of herself aged 13, which is in color and shows a child with short hair dressed in very more modern clothing than the children in the picture from the Belgian Congo. So she's most likely just too young, based on what we know, to be one of the kids in the photo. On top of that, she hasn't tweeted about living in the Belgian Congo, and none of the accounts sharing the claim have included a support uh, source which supports it. A picture such as this is obviously meant to invoke some sort of emotion or reaction from the viewer. It also seeks uh, to paint the British ambassador to Somalia in a bad light. Uh, what would be achieved if a picture like this is not fact-checked and the wrong content continues to actually spread? So the immediate effect is obviously that the claim encourages distrust towards Foster for something that she wasn't involved in. And because she's an ambassador, the way she's perceived might affect political responses to her and the government she represents. Now, obviously, no one would want these kinds of decisions to be based on inaccurate information. And so that's one really important reason that we fact check things like this. But there's also additional information in this case. The false information that this was shared with muddies the real context behind this photograph. Someone sharing this image out of context has an incentive to hide when and where it was really taken and what its history is. And as we have touched on here, that history is important for its own reasons, and we don't want it to become overshadowed and hidden by false claims. Thank you so much for talking to us. is believing. But in the age of fake news and false information, we need to be more and more careful about trusting our eyes. Sometimes the fakery isn't in the images themselves, but how they are used. The photo is real, but it doesn't match the story. Here's a few quick steps to verifying videos or images. Step one, do a reverse image search. Did you know that you can search Google using pictures instead of words? This can help you identify more information about an image, like where it's been shared before. Step two, Look for visual clues. Look out for a distinct building or mountain range, a language from a visible billboard or shop sign, or schools, hospitals, statues, towers, vehicles, and registration. Step three, map it out. You can use mapping tools to look for unique features to find a photo or video's exact location. Wikimapia is a community mapping project that collects information about places on the globe. And lastly, another thing to watch out for is that the screen grabs of websites can be easily manipulated. And it's now time for our verdict. It could just be an ordinary post to gain more followers and views online to you. But that ordinary post could mislead the public and create havoc that just taking down the post won't solve. So before you chase the clout or spread unverified information to start conversations in your community, think about the harm it will do first. Don't post anything without verifying. Also, if you see an unverified claim, don't be an accomplice by forwarding to your larger audience. Instead, send it to fact checkers like Africa Check to fact check. For more details on the fact check, visit www.africacheck.org. If you have any comments or a claim you want us to fact check, you can tweet us at africacheck underscore ng. Follow us on our social media platforms. We are at New Central TV. And you can fact check with us when you do watch the program, The Proof. Well, also check our website. It's www.newcentral.africa. And I'll be leaving the show here for today. I'll be back again next time. I'm Joe Hansen. Thanks for watching The Proof. <music>